Hey what's up guys, this is 3D Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial and this time I just want to talk a little bit about abstract art in Cinema 4D and Redshift. So right now I have this new course on my Patreon with these three classes. We talk about scene preparation and building these hero objects, about different shaders, especially the fin film. So there are different approaches to achieve this beautiful effect. And we also talk about subsurface scattering materials like these ones and colored glass. So it's just a little bit of everything thing to create artworks like these ones. This is new on Patreon, but here on YouTube I also want to share some knowledge with you. Especially I think I want to talk about how to create elements like these ones for your abstract artworks. All right. So I thought if you are just a bit too lazy today, then you can also download a free scene file. So I provide the scene file on my Gumroad with these two volume builder setups. And when you put some materials and light on it, then it could look like these ones. So just feel free to go to my Gumroad shop. My marcusgonza.gumroad.com and there you will find the free product so just download it and when you are already there you can also download these free wallpapers for example. If you are not so strong with the volume builder and measure right now let me just show you in I guess this will only take like five minutes how you can create beautiful elements like these ones and then just put your beautiful materials on it and as I said if you want to learn more about beautiful materials and then check out my patreon of course. But other than that there are also the different other really great courses. So if you are interested in creating artworks like these ones, then this new course, which will be released in the next, I guess, 10 days or something like that, then this course will also be interesting for you. And there are a lot of other courses also. If you want to really support me, please write a comment here on my YouTube video. This will help the algorithm. And other than that, let's just go into Cinema 4D and build something awesome like this one. So this will only be about the modeling, but I still think this could be beneficial for you. All right. So let's get started. So this is my cinema for this scene. And as I said in my Patreon, I will talk about the lighting, the materials and a lot of cool stuff, especially with Redshift, because right now I'm learning Redshift. Previously, I was just focusing on Octane, but yeah, nowadays I really love Redshift also and just share some shader knowledge with you. All right. So I think I just want to start a new scene here. Let's get rid of everything and let's just build a beautiful material so that you can apply your amazing materials materials to it and just do some abstract art in Cinema 4D. All right, so let's get this one started. And I will just recreate what I did in my tutorial. So this is an element consisting of a capsule. So let's just give it more subdivisions. Rotate it like 90 degrees that you have something like this one. All right, so this is not exactly 90 degrees, right? So let's do it like this. NA to get rid of the lines. And I think I just want to get the lines back. I'm sorry, a little bit confused today and let's just give it even more subdivisions to something like this and a to get rid of the lines and now of course you need the builder and the measure put the builder in the measure put the capsules in the builder so now you have something like this and now let's just create a cube here let's move the cube over there let's do it like this and put the cube also in the mix put the cube to subtract for example and then you will have something like that all right you could also do it like this all right this is also looking cool Maybe we also want to have a sphere, move the sphere up here, make it smaller, do it like this, for example, put the sphere into the mix and also go to the builder, put the sphere to subtract. Now this looks especially ugly, I have to say. <laughs> All right, but let's just put this one to three. Let's put it to two. Now you can see the subdivisions of the sphere. This is why I put this one to 100. All right, now let's put the smooth into the mix. This is already looking better. I would just create another sphere, move the sphere down here, make the sphere bigger, move it, for example, there. All right. And once again, I will subtract this one. Okay. So now we have something like this. Now I will just duplicate this one and go to the builder and set the first one to intersect. Now you will get this element. Let's do this one more time. And this time I want to set the first sphere to intersect, maybe set this one back to subtract. So now you will get this volume here. And let's do this one more time. This time I want to have the cube to intersect and the other ones to subtract again. And now you will have something like this. Now just go to this one and type in builder. All right. Select all of them. Set the voxel size maybe to one or maybe to 
0.5. And let's just say that this is okay, that the calculation will take a little bit longer. And now you will have a beautiful element like this one. And you can see here, I just spent a little bit more time, put just a bit more of bool objects into the mix, and then you will have something like this one. And of course, you can move these elements. You could animate these ones all right so this will also look awesome and of course this will look especially great when you put different materials into the mix just recognize there was some stepping here so i went into all of the builders and went into the smooth and set the boxes size to one by one i think when you go up with the iterations here then let's just wait for it you will get a smoother result but you can also see a little bit of a strange stepping effect here so you could get rid of this one by just smoothing over your element this is not a big deal but you can also reduce the smoothing here with the iterations and now this will look more smooth and you will get rid of the stepping here there are other ways to get rid of the stepping but for now i want to keep this one simple and just wanted to give you the basics to create beautiful elements like these ones all right so you can just play with the light now and put materials on it and just be sure to create a really nice pattern with the volume builder and measure and just have fun with it all right and if you are interested in the materials course and the shader knowledge that I share on Patreon. Just check out my Patreon, of course. And for now, I said Patreon already too much. I'm sorry. All right. So thank you so much for your time. I hope you still learned something in this free YouTube class. See you next time. Bye, everyone.